Hey, it's Ryan, and today the Ender 3 V3 was unveiled, so let's talk about it. Well, the Ender 3 V3 was introduced today, um, so uh, let's go back to the beginning. So let's go over here. Let me see over here this. It's a little bit of a different style video than what we normally do, but that's quite okay. So a week ago, we got this photo uh, on, on Creality's uh, Facebook page and stuff like that. It was a blackout picture of it. Uh, there was another version of it, too, um, that uh, some people were able to look at and do a lightning up of, which was this one. And you kind of got a clue of what some of what we were going to be getting today uh, was going to be. Um, so, but now today they've gone ahead and shown it. So they, um, at, at the Creality Brand Carnival and Autumn Event 2023, uh, it was in Germany, like I said, uh, we got this reveal. So the show started out, uh, the, I'll, I'll link the, um, the event in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, it's a, be honest with you, it's a bit hard to watch. It's um, from what I understand here, from what I gathered from when I was watching it, you have these two young ladies that are actually in China that work for Creality, and they're working on with the event happening in Germany. There was a bunch of technical issues with the uh, audio and such like that, and so it was a bit tough to listen to or, or watch rather. Um, but anyway, so here's what these two young ladies pulled out. Uh, this is uh, Sam, uh, Samantha and Zara, I believe is her name. Uh, and uh, they pulled one of the Ender 3 V3s out and put it on the desk. So you got a really good look of what we're going to be getting. Uh, you can obviously tell that there's some K1 influence on here uh, with the screen uh, and the hot end uh, and all that good stuff. But there's a whole lot more going on. Um, they also, at that point, uh, did turn it around here. Um, so you can kind of get a view of it from the back. And we did get a Core XZ uh, system on this. So gone are the V, rail, v wheels and, uh, and, and, you know, 2020 extrusion and stuff like that. Uh, now we have a really nice nice machine um so what they've done did as well so they were going back and forth between these two young ladies and this uh key speaker event in germany uh they were showing the guy talking and a screen behind him so i got some screenshots of it and then cropped cropped it down and so it's kind of blurry because the video quality wasn't all that great um but we'll bring this one up here which shows you some of the uh Actually, that, that looks all right on, on screen here. Uh, watching it earlier was not very, very great. But so you can see uh, the firmware on the V3 is going to be the Creality OS, which is their way of saying uh, the uh, Clipper. Um, uh, the Ender 3 V3 SE is going to be still running Marlin. Uh, and the KE, um, which is a... It's looking like it's going to be the in-between of the SE and the V3. They've got a lot of things. I really wish they would have just named the this Ender 3 V3. It should have been the V4 because it's completely different than anything else that they have out there. So, but whatever. Um, yeah, so you can control the V3 from your phone um, and or PC just like you can with any other Clipper machine. Uh, you have hands-free auto leveling. Uh, you can see they have notated there that it's a strain sensor in the print head. So they have the um, the sensors that you don't it, it, pressure sensors in there. Uh, the other ones uh, have the auto leveling, but it's uh, um, done with a probe from what it looks like. Uh, they don't say 100%. Uh, they have in all of them have the input shaping. Uh, the pressure advance is on the V3 and the KE, but not the SE, uh, the, because obviously the KE and the V3 are running Clipper. The SE is not. 
Uh, it has some self checks, a model preview uh, on all of them except for the SE. Um, the all right, so the graphics that they're talking about down here, the UI with motion graphics and all that. So the screens are actually different on the V3 and the KE. Uh, let me grab that here real quick. So here's what they show um, for the auto leveling uh, slide that they had up there. So you can see the three different types of screens that they have on there now. Um, the SE has the, the wheeled knob that that is pretty common on the current Ender 3s. Uh, the KE has a, a full touch screen that's the same uh, I forget what size it was right offhand, uh, but uh, it shows on one of these other slides. And then the uh, Ender 3 V3 has the same screen that the K1 and K1 Max do. So uh, let's go back to some of the key parts here. Um, you know, basing the gantry of the V3 is that uh, it's a die cast uh, base for uh, uh, it's all aluminum. Uh, Extru not extrusion, but a casting. Uh, and we are getting the uh, Core XZ, which Nathan Builds Robots was predicting that they would do. Um, so good job on that, Nathan. Uh, let's see here. The X, Y, and Z are all linear shafts on the uh, K on the V3. Uh, the KE, I'm not really going to talk much more about the SE unless it has anything realistically to do with it. Um, but the, the SE has a, a linear rail and a linear shaft and dual lead screws. So it's a little bit different. But here's a picture that they put up of those. Um, so you can see uh, in on the picture on the left, uh, that is the uh, x-axis there on the left uh, with the linear rail. Um, and then on the right, you can see uh, that both of the SE and the KE have the linear rod there as the uh, uh, y-axis. So pretty good. They didn't show any of the stuff on the uh, on the V3 as far as in that was concerned. Um, all right, let's see here. Anything else on this one that we needed to go to? Oh. Um, the extrusion system, they say new direct extrusion with high flow rate. They, sh I mean, it's the same one that it, from what it looks like as the K1. So the, uh, um, the KE is going to be using the Sprite uh, extruder um, that they have, uh, which is, well, it's, it's an upgraded. So you can see there they, they do actually say the, that the Ender 3 SE um, has the Sprite and then the KE has an upgraded sprite. So whatever that means, they, they didn't get into it uh, when they were talking about it. Uh, let's go back here to the overview of them, uh, which is all the really important stuff that anybody really cares about, uh, which are the build volumes and, uh, and all that good stuff and speeds. Um, you can see on the top there, they give you the product dimensions of it. Uh, you know, pretty common under three size. Uh, the build volume, I, I think, is interesting. Uh, you know, it's the 220, 220 by 250, uh, except for the KE, which is 220, 220, 240. Uh, it's, I wonder if it's that modified uh, Sprite hot end that's, uh, or extruder that's making that different. I don't know. Uh, speed, though, they're saying that it can print up this new one. The, the V3 can print up to 600 millimeters a second. Uh, I'd like to see it do it uh, and be clean, um, but the the KE they're saying can do up to 500 millimeters a second. So that's pretty pretty fast if it can do it and do it nice. Um, all right, let's see here. Yeah, they already they the same extrusion system uh, information as what was on the other one. Uh, the hotbed can get to 110 degrees Celsius uh, compared to the other ones at 100. Uh, the nozzle temperature can get to 300 degrees Celsius, uh, which is going to be helpful with some uh, other filaments uh, compared to the SE at 260 and the KE at 300 as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, the nozzle, it's the same one that's in the K1. Uh, so it's got a, it's integrated with the heat break uh, instead of just the standard copper nozzles. Um, supported filaments, you can 
print anything that you want, really. I mean, that's that's an open air. Um, they say you can do the ABS and the ASA and all that good stuff. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be an enclosed printer, so I don't know how well that would work for larger products projects, but uh, you know, whatever. Um, and then uh, the file transfer way you can do that. USB drive, you can do it LAN, you can do it with the Creality Cloud. Uh, the one thing I did find interesting that when the guy was talking about the uh, Creality Cloud um, was uh, uh, he was talking about how we don't keep your information. <laughs> yeah, he it, 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 it was he he seemed to be making some jabs at uh, at Bamboo. Uh, thought that was pretty pretty funny. I I, I caught on to that. Um, all right, so here's the uh, uh, what they show for the the uh, hot end and the extruder. They have two model fans. Uh, they have one in the front and one in the back. Uh, if we go back here to the picture of the rear, you can kind of see it there in the center on the back of the, the hot end. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's there. So they've got two, uh, two fans there. They integrated nozzle and heat brake. Um, they got a filament runout sensor, you know, dual direct drive, and then they also had uh, the uh, six, 60 watt ceramic heater in the hot end too, which I thought was kind of cool. That's a, pretty powerful from what I what I'm used to anyway. Um, you might be able to hear my my OG Ender three in behind me going, but uh, it's all good. All right, let's see here. Um, what else do we need to show? Um, oh, they, they did a slide on the hardware. So, yeah, Creality OS, which is Clipper. Um, they got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core CPU and 32-bit mainboard. So um, it's probably not going to be silent, but it'll be okay. Uh, they also went ahead and were they were talking about some... Uh, um, accessories and stuff like that uh one of the that one go did i i might not have saved that uh they they were showing three things basically one was uh the, the camera camera system that you can get uh so you could they it detects for uh foreign objects so which i i took that as another dig at the bamboo from their issues that they were having a couple weeks ago uh, they have spaghetti failure detection and then time-lapse filming. Um, so, you know, things that people want. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how well the uh, spaghetti failure detection uh, works because um, I know that uh, I've heard several people say that they're not too great um, on other machines. So um, not just Creality, but just in general. Uh, let's see here. So uh, they also, um, during this thing, so they they were talking about the pricing of the uh, um, V3, which was, oh, shoot, I left that page downstairs. Um, it was uh, 329 I believe, is what it was. Uh, so nice uh, value for the cost of the printer. Um, the KE uh, was, I want to say it was like two fifty nine, something like that. It was, it was like eighty dollars or sixty seventy dollars more than the uh, um, than the SE, but it wasn't what the uh, the v, V3 is. Uh, you know, they they also did some talking about the uh, the Creality Cloud app. They got five hundred thousand plus mod uh, models in there, and uh, you know, 223,000 users. Um, so they got a lot of people moved in there from uh, purchases that they had made or, you know, with the other products. So um, I guess the clouds can, their, their Creality Cloud will be growing, yada, yada. Um, anyway, the other thing that I found interesting during this whole thing uh, was that they are also, uh, they, we're gonna, they're going to do a Ender 3 V3 Plus, which why wouldn't you call it the V3 Max? Uh, because it is the 300 by 300 by 300 um, build volume. Uh, and they call the K1 the K1 Max. 
So why would you change it to Ender 3 V3 Plus? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there's a lot of good stuff. They did not, everything that I was listening to, the, the whole thing is over three and a half hours long, and after, really after about an hour of the audio issues and stuff like that that they were having, I just tried to skip around a little bit to, to see what um, what I could, if there was any other information I needed to find out, uh, and there really wasn't any. Uh, the... Um, the, so there was no, they did not say any kind of uh, release date of it. I checked the Creality website so far. There's nothing there. Um, but, uh, you know, it, I'm assuming within the next couple of weeks, it'll show up and be able to be ordered and uh, purchased. So, um, well, that's it for today. Uh, I appreciate it the uh, time today and we'll jump back on here at a later date and we'll see what else is going on for the old Ender 3. Um, there's another announcement coming uh, on the 20th for Bamboo Labs uh, for the A1, which is uh, suspected to be their uh, um, their Cartesian style printer. Um, and we'll see what happens with that. So until next time, have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.